Hockey has been around for a long time, since 1875 to be exact. Today on Puck Drop, we are going to start a new documentary style series about the history of the National Hockey League. The award, which is given to the winner of the NHL's playoffs, which we now know as the Stanley Cup, was originally created in 1893 as a gift from Lord Stanley himself and was nicknamed Lord Stanley's Cup. Each year up until the creation of the NHL in 1917, the top teams in different leagues around North America would compete for their names on the cup. The O'Brien Cup was given to the winner of the NHA and NHL. The O'Brien Cup winner would, would go on to take on other victorious teams for Canada's Stanley Cup. Lord Stanley was the sixth Governor General of Canada and loved hockey. Both of his sons were players themselves at the amateur level. Stanley donated a trophy now known as the Stanley Cup in 1892. Notable winners were the Seattle Metropolitans, who were the last winners before the NHL came in, and Montreal Hockey Club, the first winners not to be confused with the modern-day Montreal Canadiens NHL franchise. The NHL was created in 1917 as a successor to the National Hockey Association, or the NHA, which was 10 seasons in at the time. The NHL was a replacement league due to the NHA owners meeting up discussing their problems with Toronto Blue Shirts owner Eddie Livingstone. They decided after the meeting to branch off and create their own identical league, a replacement league of sorts, with Eddie Livingstone absent. The league's inaugural clubs were the Montreal Canadiens, Montreal Wanderers, Ottawa Senators, and the Quebec Bulldogs. The Quebec Bulldogs owned a club but opted not to compete for the first two seasons for, as we have found, unknown reasons. There was also a Toronto team, but instead, the owner of the Toronto Arena Gardens ran the club, which was named the Toronto Arenas, and would later be renamed to the Toronto St. Pats, and even later, the Toronto Maple Leafs. In 1918, the first year the NHL competed for the Stanley Cup, the winner was the Toronto Arenas, the first ever team to win Lord Stanley's Cup through the process of the National Hockey League. For around the first 10 years of the NHL's existence, they saw great competition from the Pacific Coast Hockey League, abbreviated to the PCHL, and the Western Canada Hockey League, or Western Canadian Hockey League, abbreviated to the WCHL. This was for both players and Lord Stanley's Cup itself. The best teams from each league would come up and take each other on in a tournament. The NHL also for a short period of time in the 1970s rivaled the World Hockey Association, which did not offer as much competition as the PCHL and or the WHL. However, in the 1970s, the league hosted the following players that we know now as former All-Stars and Hall of Famers, Mark Messier, Wayne Gretzky, Bobby Hull, and lastly, Gordie Howe. The NHL first made their move into the United States of America in 1924 with the expansion of the Boston Bruins. By the year of 1926, the league consisted of 10 provinces, all in the provinces of Ontario, Quebec, the Great Lakes region, and the northeast of the United States. At the same time, the NHL prevailed above their, their league competition and emerged as the only competitor for the Stanley Cup. The Lord Stanley's Cup was officially theirs for the taking. At this point in the NHL's history, there were 10 teams, the Ottawa Senators, the Montreal Canadiens, the Montreal Maroons, the New York Americans, who are, ironically, in the Canadian division, and the, the Toronto St. Pats, the New York Rangers, the Boston Bruins, the Detroit Cougars, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the Chicago Blackhawks. During this time of professional hockey domination for the NHL, the game itself continued to evolve. Many innovations to the rules of the game and equipment were created as the NHL sought out to improve the flow of the game and make the sport more watchable. Some notable rule changes were the removal of one player per side on the ice at once to make it six players in each team, five skaters and a goalie, rather than the traditional six skaters and a goalie, and the NHL allowing goalies to move out of their blue square to make saves. Around this time as well, the famous Montreal Forum and Maple Leaf Garden were built. These arenas became some of the most historically famous arenas in the NHL. They hosted the first and second ever NHL All-Star Games, which were benefit games at the time. Held to raise money to help support Maple Leafs player Ace Bailey, who needed funds after getting injured in the fight. 
and the family of the first NHL star, Hort Howie Marenz, who died after sustaining an on-ice injury. The NHL All-Star Game quickly, was quickly brought back as a yearly league-wide event for teams' best players to show off their talent. In 1942, the aftermath of World War II and the Great Depression caused the NHL to slim itself down to just six franchises. These teams famously became known as the Original Six. Hope everyone enjoyed the first episode of the new Puck Drop History of the NHL docu-series. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe button down below, and the notification bell so you know when the next episode is out, and just whatever we post in general. So yeah, see you guys in the next episode, and bye.